Uh, I'm Prashant Gandhi, responsible for product and strategy at Big Switch. I've been here for a couple of years. Uh, Rob and I are going to do the dance today. Rob is going to do most of the dance. I'm going to be in the fringes. So uh, um, our focus here really is to uh, bring, you know, SDN. What do we do in SDN? What does uh, Big Switch and many other companies are, you know, talking about SDN? How do we see SDN? Uh, how do we see use cases for SDN? How do we see architectures for SDN? Are they radically different? Or are they uh, next evolution off of uh, proven architectures, right? So some of these questions we will go through today. Um, you know, because SDN uh, as a technology and architecture uh, uh, has many faces, uh, you know, we'll present what works for us and how are we are bringing it to market. And what are also customer use cases? How are customers consuming these uh, solutions? Are they totally different use cases or are they you know, use cases that, that we know and love but are being implemented or, or, or uh, are being provided with uh, a new set of uh, benefits. So with that, you know, our punchline here is uh, our inspiration has been hyperscales, uh, Googles and Facebooks of the world. And uh, our approach has been to bring hyperscale inspired, hyperscale style networking to mainstream organizations, right? And uh, uh, so, Timing couldn't have been better. You know, we just uh, did a major launch of uh, some of the innovations that uh, we've been working on for the last couple quarters. And so what we'll do is uh, there are, you know, a bunch of new faces uh, here as well. So we'll baseline it. I'll, I'll give a quick overview, and Rob is going to then drill down into why STN Fabrics, uh, you know, and then talk about the, the two key products and what are the, the uh, technical underpinnings uh, for these two products. We'll be doing a bunch of demos uh, uh, of the product, so you'll see, you know, the, you, you'll get to uh, experience the automation, the visualization, the troubleshooting capabilities um, uh, that, that these solutions provide. Um, I'll come back and talk about the use cases and the new business model that we have introduced on, um, on elasticity, not in terms of, not only in terms of uh, SDN as a solution uh, providing elastic scale-out model, but also in terms of the business model. And uh, finally, um, what's next? Where are we going? We see uh, lots of cool stickers here with uh, lots of cool emerging technologies, uh, you know, dockers and, and all kinds of things. So, so we'll see how this can, can go as, uh, as the uh, natural evolution uh, into 2016 and beyond. So what's our purpose? What's our belief? Why are we here? Um, is to transform box-by-box -box networking that's complex, that's closed. It's open from protocol perspective, but from a device perspective, it's closed. And so our approach is to uh, bring changes to that uh, environment. And the question is, how do we do that? And you hear these three principles, and Rob will drill down more um, uh, into these. But really, you know, since age of time, uh, when technology has been introduced uh, amongst us, it's always, you know, it'll make, it'll bring some speed, you know, it'll make it faster, it'll make it simpler, it'll make it more economical, right? So those principles are time-tested sort of benefits. The question is, how are we enabling those in the SDM environment, in data center, uh, with mainstream organizations? And you, you'll see the principles that, uh, that, that we'll focus on, which is open hardware, right? Software innovations, not just on the switch, but also a combination of X80, software on x86 server and software on uh, Broadcom-based switches. We believe that that combination is a potent combination to bring about the change, much needed change in networking. And finally, you know, the two products is, is how we bring these changes. Uh, it's an, the platform is very flexible and, and uh, we hope to demonstrate that today. And we are uh, instantiating that platform into two manifestations. One is a cloud fabric, and the other one is a monitoring fabric. And so we'll, we'll talk more about both of those uh, capabilities. So, you know, um, the two products, the big monitoring product, uh, you know, formerly used to be called big tap monitoring, and we dropped the word tap because we don't really do tap, we actually do tap aggregation and span aggregation. Um, this pro uh, with this product, we've been uh, at it for last couple of years. It's a very mature product. Uh, it is in the space we call uh, network packet brokers, uh, 
uh, we consider this type of architectures as a next generation network packet broker. And um, it's been deployed uh, in mainstream organizations. We'll kind of talk about the use cases. And we're bringing new innovations. It's not just about NPB, but NPB services, such as deduplication, packet modification. What about 100 gig, right? So we are bringing uh, these new innovations, uh, and we'll talk about that. So the journey um, will continue, and the uh, journey continues on Cloud Fabric as well. Uh, this was, I said, timing couldn't be better. You know, last time, uh, last year, we had just released uh, Big Cloud Fabric, um, uh, GA release, uh, and, uh, and, and we had talked about it here. And we have been at it uh, for the last uh, couple quarters since then. And you'll see the, uh, the, the innovation velocity that we are able to bring to this, uh, this whole infrastructure and solutions. Uh, since the introduction of Big Cloud Fabric, which is you know, general purpose fabric for data center, least spine cloth, uh, run through SDN, but uh, it um, um, it was uh, you know personalized for OpenStack, and very soon thereafter we did that for VMware and brought automation. Soon after that we brought visibility uh, of NSX overlay to underlay, so network admins can understand what's going on in the overlay environment and virtualization environment. And here we are extending that deeper, not only physical fabric, but physical, physical plus virtual, uh, with uh, asset on x86, um, and uh, extending into VMware environment further with, uh, uh, in areas such as uh, VMware's OpenStack, we realize, and uh, bringing about a new sort of business model, and we'll talk about that as well. How do we bring elasticity, pay as you go, consumption-based model, not just for software and support, but also for hardware. And, uh, and we'll talk about that uh, as part of uh, the next two hours.